back from my morning coffee run, I went with a cold brew with cream. That's my typical cold brew order. I don't add any flavoring. I just do half and half. Today is a Monday. I'm going to vlog a Monday through Wednesday this week. It's the week of Thanksgiving, actually. So I'm going to stop before the long weekend because I want to be kind of like off and enjoy the weekend. But I'm just getting ready for the day. I have a doctor's appointment at 11, but I want to run some errands beforehand. Kind of maximize the fact that I need to be over in that area anyway. So I'm trying to get out the door, but I want to make myself look presentable. So I'm just going to do some light makeup. I'll we'll walk you through kind of what my everyday makeup is looking like these days. And I think I might curl my hair. I think I'm going to get a haircut next week, actually. It's just gotten so long and I'm not styling it. So I feel like it looks kind of raggedy when I'm not styling it. It looks incredible when it's styled, but I'm just not doing that every day. So for that reason, I think I need to get a couple inches off the bottom just so it looks a little bit cleaner. I think I'll probably go like right there. Nothing drastic. I love that I said I'm getting a haircut. And, like that's literally what I'm doing. But I feel like anyone who has a long hair that went like shorter at one point in your life, you just know that feeling of wanting it to be so long again. And I'm trying to avoid that. Short hair would be fun, but I think once I go short, I wouldn't want to grow back out. I could see myself one day with hair, like maybe right here. I don't know. Isn't that like the mom chop? <laughs> So for now, I'll have long hair. I always regret going any shorter than like a little trim right here, but it has grown a ton. And I noticed that the hair growth shampoo that I've been using is on like early Black Friday deal right now. So I'll probably link that on my Instagram stories later. Anyways, my name is Clara. If you're new here, I just moved to Charleston from Raleigh about a month ago. So I'm still kind of getting my bearings. At what point can I stop giving that disclaimer? I don't know. But anyways, my house is nearly complete. I have one dresser that's kind of being held hostage right now by the delivery company. It's not actually the seller's fault. They dispatched it to the delivery people and they just keep pushing back the date. So I'll show you my little makeshift dresser situation after we get ready, which I should be doing right now. But other than that, I would say I'm 90% done with the moving in and decorating process. There's always those little additions and stuff. This is the Origins Tinted Moisturizer, by the way. It like turns, turns tan? I don't know. I love this, but I actually have no idea how this would work on different skin tones because I don't know if I just got lucky and like I am the color that it turns into. All those things that say that it will like match your skin tone. I'm like, really? And it's kind of got that like ginseng. It is ginseng. It's energy boosting tinted moisturizer SPF. 40 sheer tint release. I don't know, but it kind of has that, what was that stuff? The Neutrogena, was it Neutrogena? No, it was Clean and Clear Morning Burst. The like bead citrus cleanser from like high school. This is giving me a doll version of that because it has this like citrus blast on your face. Some days I've just been wearing that, but if I want a little bit more coverage, which I kind of do today because I have quite a few little breakouts but they're not like actively they're just dark spots from previous pimples but i really like the shiseido revital essence skin glow foundation i have the color 260 cashmere so i'll just do like one pump of that and i use my tarte like buffer brush i think that's actually what it's called it's called the buffer brush and i just put this all over my appointment at 11 is with the gynecologist to check up on the like iud that i got placed a couple of weeks ago i have no reason to think it's like not okay haven't had any issues but it's just customary to go to like a follow-up ultrasound so that's what i'm doing today and then i have a work meeting at 12 30 so i'm hoping that it's like quick in and out and then i can get home and get on with my work day since it's thanksgiving this week i want to go to a thrift store before and see if i can kind of thrift the cute tablescape because that sounds fun but they're things that i'll probably honestly donate back again because they don't have the storage so i think it's just kind of fun to almost borrow them from a thrift store so you can find some really cute stuff and then you can just donate it after and someone else can buy it and like it just put all that shiseido stuff on next the concealer that i use under my eyes is radiant and i realized that i probably should use a different one on my actual breakouts and blemishes so that they're not radiant um so this one is just the tarte ultra creamy shape tape i believe and it's probably not even in the right color i'm guilty of just using whatever color gets sent to me sometimes it works i think this one actually isn't half bad but I just pound that in with the same brush and I've just learned that if a breakout isn't completely covered by makeup to just like stop while you're ahead because you'll get behind really quickly if you just pack more and more products on so like it would look better to just leave this the way it is than try and continuously cover it because then it'll look cakey and then the only option would be to just like wash it off and start over so once I add one layer of concealer and maybe a layer of like powder or something on top I just give up because there's no use in trying to cover it further this is the radiant shape tape that I'm putting under my eyes 
guys. Do a little something to the brows. I use a Kosas brow pencil and then the Kosas clear brow gel, but I also really like the Anastasia clear brow gel. Add a little bronzer. This is a dipstick in the shade Starlit. And I finally got the Dibs brush that they recommend using it with. So that blends in pretty nicely. Although I feel like the brush I was using before did just as good of a job, but Dipstick smells like that Too Faced cocoa powder bronzer. It smells exactly like that and it brings me back. If I'm doing kind of like a no makeup-y, this is definitely not no makeup, but if I'm doing kind of a more natural look, I'll actually skip blush because I don't really know how to apply blush in like a subtle way whenever I put blush on just kind of gets out of hand so I will skip blush on days like this and honestly I would nearly consider this done sometimes I'll add powder if my face is looking extra shiny and then for lips I just have lip balm on so that's all I'm gonna do and then for mascara I really like the elf lash and roll I think this is their version of the benefit roller lash but I just do like the most subtle swipe can you see so it's not crazy clumpy thick lengthening mascara it just really accentuates your eyelashes so perfect for something like this all right i'm gonna shut up and curl my hair and then i will show you my little dresser and we will get on the road to go run those errands hair is curled and of course now i want to take back everything i said about cutting it shorter because i just love how it looks when it's curled like this people always ask if it's extensions and it's not it's literally just the bondi booth hair growth shampoo and conditioner i swear me honestly probably more so the shampoo i don't even know if you need to use the conditioner anyways hair is done and let me show you the dresser situation so this is the wall that the dresser is gonna go on and it'll probably be a little bit bigger i would will probably go to like to that wall size reference um but i do have a dresser coming and it's supposed to go on this wall but it was just getting so difficult to like get dressed in the morning and actually wear all of my clothes and i was getting like a really intense like shopping bug over the past couple of weeks and I was like, this is so weird. Like I'm usually not one to panic about having nothing to wear. But for some reason, every time I got dressed, I just had this like weird panicky type of feeling that I didn't like what I was wearing. And I think it's because I couldn't see all of my options. And honestly, since just like biting the bullet and getting these at Target, that's where they're from, by the way. They're the Bright Room three drawer carts. I just didn't install the wheels on them. Um, but since getting these, it was just such a big improvement because it's supposed to come next week, the dresser is, but I don't know if it actually will. And this is just making life way easier being able to like get dressed and actually find all my clothes and i was just so tempted to go and spend so much money like found myself online shopping so much just for stuff that i knew i owned at some point in time a version of um and it was probably just in a box so now that all my clothes are out i'm feeling better and now that they're organized and easily accessible i'm feeling like my itch to just like go to h&m and buy everything in the store is gone something i want to do maybe in this video or maybe i'll just do it over the long weekend is i want to go through and i did this kind of in the summer but take pictures of outfit combinations that I like kind of when I'm at like a neutral headspace. Like I'm not planning an outfit for an event. I don't have to go to dinner that night. Like I have nothing going on, but it's nice to make outfit pairings and just snap a picture of it, put it in a camera roll folder somewhere. And that way when you're panicked about getting ready, you're running late for dinner, your friends ask you to do something last minute, instead of panicking about like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna wear? You can go and look at outfits that you've already determined like you feel good in. So I wanna do that kind of moving into the fall and especially as I get like a better grip on what people kind of wear here um i want to have some like surefire foolproof outfits to put together just so i'm not panicked um because i will 100 decline an invitation to go somewhere if i don't know what i'm gonna wear Just got back from running my little errands. Went to my appointment, got all that done. And you saw me at the thrift store, but I'll show you what I got in closer detail. So I don't think I showed everything. First thing I found were these two, it's like a set of marble, what are these called? Candlestick holders. Don't these look like something CB2 would be selling for like 50 bucks? I don't know. Thought those were cool. I want to do more like tablescape stuff. So I got these. Those would also be cute Christmas decorations too. I feel like those can be used a lot of places. Next thing I got is this full vase situation because I've been wanting a circular round vase for white hydrangeas because I watched Danielle's, I think it was her apartment tour maybe, Q&A. Something she had in the background was like a round vase with hydrangeas in it and I was like, 
I need that. So I'm thinking this is gonna go over there, maybe over here, but it is merino, merino um, glass. So I feel like that was a good find. And then next thing I got, I would save the best for last, this little gold trinket dish, trinket, trick, trink, trinket. I think that's it. Anyways, this little gold dish snaps shut. This might have been like an old, yeah, I feel like this is definitely, wait, what? Made in China expressly for party light. Maybe you put a tea light in that? I don't know what it's supposed to be for, but I'm gonna use it for little like rings and stuff. I don't know, mints? Probably not food safe. I don't know, it was a couple dollars. So I got that and then the best thing, at least I think it's the best thing. Is this shell serving platter situation. It's pink, the lighting's starting to adjust so you can see it better, but it's this serving bowl and it is from Fitz and Floyd. You can get them for about the same. I paid $35 for this and you can get them on like Poshmark and eBay for like the exact same price. So it's not like this was a steal per se. Let me sit down and explain it further. But I wasn't sure why I wanted this other than the fact that it just like looks cool. But I was thinking like dip and chips. But then the guy at checkout suggested um, like ice, oyster, oysters. I just learned that I say oysters wrong, oysters. And some sort of saucy thing. I don't know, I don't really eat oysters, but if I ever host and want to put out oysters, I could do that. Or I could just do chips and dip, like guac, like big mound of guac. I don't know, this is one of those things that I just, I needed. So cute. I love it. I think I'm going to lead the cord because I don't want to hide the cord like in the actual wall, which is what I would do in an ideal world, but too much effort if you ask me. I'm going to lead it over here and kind of tape it so that it falls down right there. Actually, why don't I just do that while I'm talking? My friend Lauren told me about that hack because now, so long as you have something like this on this side that kind of covers that from the majority of angles you look at the TV, it will look to be actually like a frame mounted. One of my favorite brands, Side Dish, just came out with a miso Caesar dressing. So this is my first time trying it. I made a Caesar or a chicken Caesar salad wrap, which is actually one of my favorite like quick lunches. Clearly camera did not eat first. I already tried it and it's delicious. So I'm just gonna have this with some chips. And I've been really loving these Aka OCA energy drinks lately. I got that at Whole Foods. Quickly gonna switch outfits because I want to pre-film a couple of videos in the last hour of sunlight it's 3 30 so i have to get all my filming done by 4 30 honestly four but i don't think i'm gonna have that all done so I'm trying to pick out just like a neutral top to wear I'm gonna do a snack board video and i have a bondi boost um ad to film which is nice because i'm having a good hair day and i was kind of worried about that so i'm gonna get those two out of the way so that i can start editing them because obviously filming is only like the first part of it but I'm trying to figure out what i want to wear i think I think I found it. I recently went to Brandy Melville um, and I think they kind of like redid. I mean, unfortunately they didn't redo their sizing. I think they did in the sense of making the one size a little bit <laughs> larger, but they didn't expand it by any means. But I got a couple of basics and I just got this little sweater thing. So I think I'm gonna change into this just because I've already filmed two outfits or I've already filmed two videos in this outfit. So this sweater is free people by the way. And then I just have on some like flared yoga pants. So anyways, I'm just gonna put this on so that it it breaks up my feet a little bit and I'm not just standing in the same outfit for like five videos in a row. No, I do not have my hair to grow like this. It's good for hair growth. So I talked about Closing my laptop for a bit. I think I should probably be responsible and clean up the kitchen a little bit before starting on dinner, even though that's the last thing I want to do. But I think dinner is going to be like a little bit messy. I can't remember exactly the recipe, but I think it's like multiple dishes, cutting boards, everything like that. So I'm going to empty the dishwasher and just get ahead of this.
Anyway. Lately I've been putting dry shampoo in my hair at night and then I take one of these tiny little baby claw clips and I pin back kind of the crown of my hair so it doesn't hit my skincare during the night and I think it's prolonging my hair between wash days because so long as this doesn't touch the oils that I put on my face during the night, I think I'm in the clear. I think the curls will probably fall. They've already fallen a decent amount, but I've also been battling this one little blemish right here that's like kind of gone, not really gone. I can still feel it deep down there. So hopefully one more night with a pimple patch will knock him out. I guess only time will tell. It's Tuesday and I woke up not feeling my best. I don't know if I'm necessarily getting sick, but I don't feel my best, so I'm making sure to drink my greens and I took some wellness formula, those like tablets, vitamin things that I swear by. I'm craving breakfast and I'm gonna have some yogurt and granola for breakfast. I have some Purely Elizabeth pumpkin cinnamon. They're probably on their way out with this flavor. I wonder if they have discontinued it because it's kind of like fall vibes and I feel like now people are moving into peppermint and all that, but really want some yogurt and some of that let me make a little breakfast plate actually that sounds fun got some scrambled eggs blueberries yogurt with pumpkin granola and the rest of my greens this is the spread i came up with i wish i had some sort of like avocado toast but i just don't have any bread right now blueberries scrambled eggs yogurt and granola cracked open a watermelon celsius and drove over to goodwill to see if i would have any better luck today thrifting stuff for a thanksgiving tablescape yesterday not so much you could count that shell bowl but i'm not going to use that for thanksgiving but i just want to find like a couple cute plates I'm not sure if i explained this but I don't think I'm gonna keep a lot of this stuff unless like an amazing incredible find I'll just thrift it use it for the tablescape and then donate it right back I'm basically just borrowing it But that way I don't feel bad about like spending way too much money on like a singular plate or having to find storage for it and stuff Anyways, I'm at goodwill if I don't find anything here. I'm probably just gonna give up Um, it's like not that important. Obviously I have plates I would just love for it to be cute and like a vibe. I'm getting Thanksgiving catered if I didn't mention that I'm catering it through Sorelli. Um, I didn't know it was called Sorelli. I've been saying Sorel, but then I had to call them to place the order and everything and they answered and they said Sorelli so I guess it's Sorelli but I'm getting Thanksgiving catered through them they're doing like a whole package thing there's a ton of restaurants that do that and I've always done like a I mean I haven't my family's always done like a home cooked Thanksgiving so this is my first year doing restaurant but that's kind of a vibe honestly I saw someone post um that they cook every single day of the year so they get Thanksgiving catered so they can have time off I'm like makes sense so maybe I'll be a catered Thanksgiving family in my future even though that kind of goes against my brand but this could change me I'm gonna head in. It is not looking promising. I didn't have any luck with the plates, but I did find some clothes. I think I found some little pocket of stuff that someone else had already picked through and found and put back because they weren't going to get it. And I kind of like this H&M sweater vest. So I might get this. I'm debating trying stuff on. And I found this Abercrombie new with tag, like long sleeve bodysuit. I feel like I don't have to try that on. Um, this little Zara shirt. I thought it was cute for like lounging. I like the buttons on it. It's giving like Brandy Melville energy. I'm not sure about this no this looks like it was like severely shrunk but i feel like this is the trendy little i mean it's probably from shein this is a no this is a free people sweater what do we think it might be a yes and then this is another free people it's like a we the free it's like cinch at the waist and cinch at the arms i don't know I'm trying to justify it. I'm gonna see the prices on stuff, but I might get all of that. Clearly no luck on the tablescape front there, but I did buy those clothes that I found, even though I was just saying that I have barely any clothing storage left. That is neither here nor there. I think I'm going to go to the Habitat for Humanity Restore because if I remember correctly, they have, um, what's it called? Like houseware section, not just furniture. So I'm gonna try there. And if not, then I'm just gonna give up. Maybe I'll go to like Home Goods or something tomorrow, but I really just don't wanna spend more than like 15 bucks getting like some cute plates or something so gonna try the habitat for humanity restore because that's back on the actual peninsula of charleston and then i'm just gonna go home and film some stuff while there's still light i feel like when i take my time drinking a celsius obviously this makes sense but when i take my time drinking a celsius it doesn't hit me the same but if i drink it all in like a span of like 20 minutes then i'm like i get the energy from it like zingy and if i drink it over the course of like an hour it's almost like i didn't drink it like i don't really feel any boost from it maybe that's just 
this in my head but I need to down this <laughs> because what's the point in drinking this at least my only motivation in drinking this is the energy all right I don't mean to brag but I did hit the jackpot at Habitat for Humanity I'm so glad I stopped there I'm gonna do like a whole table scape setting video but I'll give you a little sneak peek actually I'm just gonna give you a haul but I got four plates that are unrelated to my Thanksgiving plans let me pull up a chair I got four for like a future dinner party situation. Um, they were just matching. So I was like, I need to need to buy these. This is the first one. This is the second. They're all kind of like blue floral vibes. And then I found two that just have like a blue stripe on the outside. One has like a thin stripe, one has a thicker stripe. And I researched, researched, I Googled like the name on the bottom of every single plate to make sure that they are from a post lead paint era because that's something you should keep in mind when you're thrifting um like bakeware and dishware and stuff like just because it's pretty and vintage like doesn't mean it's safe <laughs> like some of that stuff needs to be taken out of rotation just because obviously we've learned a lot about cookware and stuff since then on to my candles i found two candlesticks which will go perfectly if you recall in my candle holders from yesterday two of these little plates it's just a regular bowl but i'm gonna use it for serving loved this plate dearly but they only had one so this is like a serving thing now and then i found two Two of these so these are eating plates these will stack on top those two serving serving candles and I found this book at the very last second that I just like the color of and it's a Christmas book the Christmas boutique I'm not actually gonna read it but I think it could maybe be like cute Christmas decor I don't know anyways guess how much all that was five dollars insane right just filmed a thanksgiving cocktail recipe because i want to edit this and have this up today while people still have time to go to the grocery store and like buy the ingredients if they want to make it themselves it's an apple cider mule so it's just like apple cider vodka ginger beer it's rimmed with cinnamon sugar and then i like garnished it all cute but the recipe that i derived it from actually suggests like muddling some cranberry sauce in the bottom which would have been so good but i don't have cranberry sauce yet so if you're watching this in the future and you need like a christmas drink or another holiday drink then maybe put this one in your back pocket because it was so easy and like very minimal ingredients the aftermath is behind me but i can't let a good drink go to waste and i made it like very light like there's barely any vodka in it for the sake of filming because i wanted to like drink it after and it's 3 30 so having a little 3 30 cocktail although it's a resounding like half shot of vodka in both of these but i'm gonna drink it enjoy it and edit the video so i can get this up probably wondering if it was a good idea for someone who was feeling sick this morning to drink a cocktail probably not but i'm just gonna drink a bunch of water and i can take another dose of wellness formula but i'm just prepping dinner right now clearly i'm peeling some potatoes i made like extra meatballs from last night i don't think i actually spoke through the recipe but i made these like Dijon what was it called like Dijon meatball recipe I don't know it was really good it was kind of giving Swedish meatball vibes if you ever shopped at Ikea as a kid or an adult and got the Swedish meatballs it was kind of that energy because there was a flour roux sauce to it but anyways I have leftovers of that so I'm gonna make some fresh mashed potatoes to go with it and fry up saute up a little bit more veg i think i have some green beans but that's the plan for dinner which is honestly perfect because it's just been such a cold rainy day still have some aches so this is perfect i was thinking of ordering soup but then as soon as there's like one barrier to placing an online order like if i need to call i'm just i'm not about it so tried to order some soup and it just wasn't in the cards so here i am making the mashed potatoes no real recipe i just kind of go off vibes i obviously peel them and then i dice them up boil them and it's usually a mixture of like sour cream heavy cream cream cheese whatever i happen to have on hand and then salt pepper butter i have some fresh herbs maybe i'll add some like rosemary in there maybe not probably should just keep it plain probably not the time to experiment with the flavors on my palate but that's my plan for dinner I also have an audiobook update for you. I finished the Britney book and now I've moved on to this one, The Perfect Marriage. I shared this on my Instagram story and there were very, very contrasting mixed reviews. Some people said they loved it. Some people said it was like a complete waste of their time, but I have three hours left, so I'm gonna finish it. So far, so good, but I do think I have the twist figured out. People say there's a twist at the end and I think I have it figured out. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I totally think it's predictable. So we'll see if I'm right. And now the only downside of making this for dinner instead of ordering out is the fact that I need to clean the kitchen later but it will be worth it it is 
Wednesday and I'm running some errands on Mount Pleasant right now. I have a return to make. So I'm dropping this off at a boutique that has like a drop off pickup spot. I have to go to Whole Foods to get a chicken, which I don't think I'm going to succeed at because I want to roast like a whole chicken, whole chicken, like a little mini like an heirloom chicken on Friday because the catered Thanksgiving that I'm getting tomorrow I don't think is gonna have leftovers and like I want the leftovers want to make the sandwiches you know all that so I'm gonna roast a chicken on Friday just for funsies but everywhere is sold out of stuff like that because I guess I mean I had the same thought but if you wanted to do like a small Thanksgiving that's probably the first thing that you would have bought so I'm just gonna see if they happen to have any at this Whole Foods over here because I already tried the other Whole Foods there's two Whole Foods in the Charleston area so maybe I'll have luck at this one but I just wanted to get this return on the way since I'm on this side of things whenever returns say that they have to go back in their original packaging I always get so stressed out because I tear into these little bags and sometimes it's not even me it's just the bag tearing when I open it so I think they just mean that so that they can like see the exact product name I don't know but whenever returns say that it has to go back in the original packaging I get like I get discouraged because odds are I don't really have the original packaging unfortunately that's what I'm trying to get I don't think I'm gonna find it today they didn't have the chicken but I needed sponges so still successful I was craving an acai bowl so I picked one up on the way home this is the berry bowl and I got a cold brew too this is the place that I go to on Mount Pleasant I think they might have other locations it's really good quickly doing part one of a DIY video that I want to post but the jury's still out on if it's ever gonna get posted because I can't tell if this is working out or not but I also it's gonna take three or four days because this is air dry clay that I'm playing around with so I need to let it dry before I can like paint and film the second part but basically trying to make cute little like anthropology-esque gift tags using air dry clay and then i'll just like let them dry and paint them with acrylic paint need to get them like made and air drying to begin with before i can finish the other half of it i made four circles and oval tried to do the letter m for mom not sure if i'm liking this one I'm making sure they have little holes poked in them right now for the string all the supplies are from amazon i can link them in my storefront gonna have to see how this turns out before i promise anything i totally thought i was buying that like model magic air dry clay i did not realize i was buying like clay so that that was kind of a shocker but it's kind of fun i feel like i'm a kid in art class again i don't know where the bucket went but it's literally crayola air dry clay what i was thinking of was model magic but i now have a tub of clay i'm about to head out though because i did think of another store that might have a chicken and i need to pick up tortillas for today's lunch because i forgot to pick those up at whole foods i knew i was forgetting something it was so crazy hectic does anyone else feel kind of like weirdly panicked before a holiday in terms of like groceries and things that they might need from stores because just knowing that the store is going to be closed is making me like, oh my gosh, well, what if I need this? What if I need that? What if I need this and I can't get it? But it's like, I, I know I'm not going to need it. Well, I actually don't know, which is why I'm kind of panicking. But I'm like, wait, should I get stuff for mimosas? Because what if I want mimosas? Could not tell you the last time that I just leisurely drank a mimosa in my own home. But maybe that'll be tomorrow. I get this weird panic over me. It's like the before a snowstorm type of panic. Just knowing that you won't be able to get anything. Those are just my Wednesday. Wednesday morning thoughts it's almost noon now and that appointment is at 12 20 so i'm gonna run to that store set these to the side to dry let me give you a little sneak peek so you can see what i mean see they're just gonna be little tags and i'm gonna paint them and stuff and put some twine through them i don't know it might be cute if you never see any record of this on my other social media accounts then just know it went horribly wrong
made a last minute decision to get some mimosa stuff because then I started thinking about it after mentioning it earlier. So I got some romaine for Polly, some radishes to add to my cheese board that I'm gonna make tomorrow because they had local radishes and it just looks so good. And I bet they'll add like a nice little pop of color. A lime, tortillas, Celsius, and I think that's it. And now I've made it to my next destination, the appointment I was talking about. I'm actually getting laser hair removal. So I don't think I'm gonna give like a play-by-play -play or a review or even say like the place that I'm going although maybe showing the front of the building kind of gave that away but I'm gonna wait to kind of give a review and recommend the place that I'm going based on the results that I see which is gonna be further down the line but basically I added up all of the money that I've spent on like wax passes over the past couple years and I just decided that instead of instead of finding a wax place here and buying like years worth of passes which is what I've been doing I'm just gonna bite the bullet and try laser hair removal I've actually already tried it before I got some in high school got my underarms done as a gift from my mom actually because I was really self-conscious of how dark of a shadow I had still after shaving but it worked wonderfully but because I did it during a time where my hormones were still changing I was going through puberty like all that it's warned and not recommended to do that treatment during that time in your life or if you plan to get pregnant like that can reverse some of the results basically whenever your hormones or whatever go out of whack or are still changing and fluctuating it can cause some hair to grow back so basically laser hair removal isn't entirely permanent but kind of is i don't know do your research anyways i've already experienced it before i know that it works well on me thankfully i have dark hair although i think there's lasers now that work on like every single hair and skin type but I've already done it before. I kind of know what to expect. I just realized that that's probably going to be just something that I'm going to do in the future. So I might as well just like start with some sessions now. You can still shave in between them. So I don't know. Long story short, I'm going to get my first session today. Okay, laser hair removal update. And thankfully now that that's over with, I can go home and actually put on makeup because I feel like such a gremlin today. But did not hurt. Would honestly do my entire body if it wasn't so expensive. I did not feel a thing. Um, It definitely has to do with whatever laser the office is using. I'll have to like look into that. Look into the one that they use there so I can make sure I'm like recommending everything correctly. But I did stop at Whole Foods just because now I'm in West Ashley and I was passing the Whole Foods and I was like, let me just check and see if they have a chicken. And they have a chicken not only did they have a chicken but they had some dinner rolls from the better bread company um they make bagels but i got the rolls for dinner obviously or for leftovers got one of my favorite energy drinks and then they had two lone cranberry poppies so i would honestly say that i hit the jackpot i'm so glad i stopped here watched some youtube and caught up on some vlog while i made dinner it's another tortellini skillet i just made a recipe like this in the last video but this is a different version of it this has butternut squash zucchini bacon sage and then just cheeses there's no real sauce i'll link this one too but i've actually added a ton of new recipes that i'm excited to try i haven't necessarily vetted them but they're on my pinterest if you want to go take a peek so getting used to the fact that this dishwasher doesn't have a countdown of how much time you have left so i have no idea if this is about to be finished but i've loaded all of those thrifted plates and everything i got in here so they're just like high temp sanitized i didn't want to bother hand washing all that so that's going around right now i was really hoping i would be able to set the table tonight and get super excited for tomorrow and just like the catering and everything but i'll just set it in the morning because i have no way of telling if this is going to be done soon finally cleaned the kitchen thankfully got those sponges today have a little candle going and it is just so cozy and homey in here and i don't think i showed you this little candle i got this last night i owe you an update on that book that's why i feel like there's some big chunks of my evening that weren't documented in this vlog and it's because I was listening to the audiobook um but I didn't want to accidentally like clip a 
audio editing, you know what I mean? I didn't want to give a spoiler by vlogging while listening to that. So anyways, this came in last night while I was listening to my audiobook. It's a candle from 1111. It's a sweatshirt, hat, accessory company that just added a little home section and they sent me this candle and I think it's kind of cool. Debating if I want to just burn the wick so that it looks like lived in, but then obviously once you do that, there's no going back. So still debating it. The consensus was actually not to burn it. I put a poll on my Instagram story, so. I know some people say it's bad luck to leave a candle like wicks unburnt, but let me know what you think of it right there. Now, as for my thoughts on the book, it was called The Perfect Marriage. It's like a really, I think it's like trending. I don't know if it's still trending or if I'm just behind. It was suggested to me by Spotify. So anyways, I listened to it. If you didn't know, with premium Spotify subscriptions, you now get 15 hours of listening each month. Um, it's only if you pay for like an individual Spotify premium membership if you do student or you have a household or a couple membership or anything like that You don't get it I think you can still buy individual books and add it to your Spotify account But the free 15 hours is only for individual premium subscribers Anyways, you would think this was a freaking Spotify ad. It's not but I listened to that one because it was suggested And I just listened to the Britney Spears memoir. That one was really good. Well, I don't know if I would say really good That one was an interesting read and I wanted something that was kind of like fiction. I don't know, I tried listening to a, like a self-help, self-improvement book. It just didn't really vibe. I, I feel like I'm really, I judge books by their cover and now I'm finding that I judge audiobooks by the voice actor. And if I don't vibe with the voice actor like right off the bat, then I don't want to listen to them for 10 hours, um, which I think makes a lot of sense. I imagine the process of choosing a voice actor for an audiobook is actually really intense. But anyways, perfect marriage. It was an entertaining, read but it not like i would not say that it was unpredictable a lot of people when i shared that i was listening to it on my instagram story were like oh my gosh you'll never guess the ending the ending is so crazy and i i guess since i knew that going into it or because i saw that feedback from people i don't know basically i'm trying not to give spoilers but basically by chapter two i had pretty much figured out the entire thing obviously there was still like a couple aspects that i didn't call but i think i had the whole thing pretty much figured out so at the end like the big twist that i think everyone was referring to just wasn't that shocking but i also think with that genre there's been I don't want to name other books and movies and stuff because I feel like that gives it away. Once you have that kind of shock factor once in that kind of sector of books, then I think your mind kind of automatically goes to it. And I don't think it has anything to do with that in this case, but I do imagine that it's easier to kind of figure things out through the inflection of the voice actor if they're not being subtle or maybe that's their intention. But I imagine if you were reading a book, it would be a little bit harder to pick up on little twists and turns and stuff versus having it read by someone who obviously already knows the ending. So anyways, that's my thoughts. It was a good book. It just was very predictable. And I think people hyping it up and saying that like the twist is so crazy and unpredictable made me not only disappointed at the end but yeah a little bit disappointed at the end i think it's one of those situations where people have hyped it up a little bit too much and now it doesn't live up to the expectations but that's a book review from someone who reads like one book a year